Hello everybody, this is Spirelli and welcome back to the Banner Saga where there is this nice cuddly serpent who wants to do something? I don't even know whether this is the serpent or there is another serpent but let's find out Tuna grabs her stuff tightly, hands trembling. You've never seen her You've never seen that. She speaks low over her shoulder, but you hear it clear as a bell. No matter what happens now, protect Avon. How am I supposed to protect Avon from that? Any way you can. The serpent speaks. You don't understand its word, but you get the tone. She shouts back and you understand her perfectly well. You failed again and again. You won't succeed this time. The serpent rears up as it responds, until only wildly coiling loops of wrecked monstrous scales can be seen in a light. It means to shatter the ice. Go! That's a nice start. The serpent strikes like a whip, snapping up Juno between his jaws and slams his head into the ice, wildly unconcerned for itself. Juno sums up his patterns with broken arms. The ice beneath your bucks. Suddenly it occurs to you that Juno has taken control of something deep beneath your feet and is approaching fast. Go! She screams once more. Evan freezes. You throw him over your shoulder and run, just as the ice groans and splinters from another impact, snapping like bear traps. Ravens scatter in terror. Run, 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 run. God, it's the ash. I can't see a damn thing. Let's keep going. Intense music is going on. I wonder for how long this intense music and nothing else happening will go on. Because I don't see that much either. I see that we are moving, but that's about it. I can't see what happened. I can't see where we're going. I can't even see whether the tower is close by now or. Is everyone here, you shout? Ravens up sooth from their faces and cough in their hands. Thick black dust haunts the air, kicked up by the deviations trashing. I can't see her, Ivan shouts. A club of light detached from the convolution silhouette of the serpent, blazing through the air and crashing like a meteor far in the distance. Ivan darts ahead with his own light. The rest follow. We crawl through curtains of dust. It's suddenly dark as moonless night. Juno lights dim and rings out. Juno's light dims and rings out. Hurry, shouts Ivan. Soon you admit it's impossible to know if you're heading the right direction anymore. Avon begins to panic. Let's separate again. That worked out well. But don't you dare sit down for a day. I mean, like, so, um, a few of us were going this direction and a few were going this direction. Oh, a day passed. Avon protests but has no better idea. She takes half the ravens while you go with Avon and the others, careful to keep each other in sight. A thrill shout in the distance followed by ringing weapons. You race toward the light to discover the broken body of Buck at the feet of Warp Tretch. They jump us in a dark shot's Vigard, blood streaming down his arm. Time for a fight and like everybody's hurt. Okay. I guess since they're hurt it's kinda good to Take higher level people. I can promote you. I don't know what else I'll be doing with my life anyway. With my with my life, with my money. Oh, I got this. Aim a maximum chance to hit. Yeah. I'm just gonna take that off. Cause I don't like the maximum strength like chance to hit. I can promote you. What are you missing? This is the last thing you have. And now you get a chance to regain your willpower. And you're not locked in by the 80% anymore. Okay, let's see how this goes. Because all of my units are wounded other than Ivor because Ivor is amazing. All hail Ivor. I see something. I think we found her. You you see something? We're not the only ones. Oh, there she is. 
Well, is she not like becoming warped? Who starts? You start, right? You guys take her. You'll come with me. You be in the middle. Because the last thing we need is uh, for somebody to heal everybody all the time. Stop licking with your tentacles. It is not appreciated. Oh god, not one of the diggers. Yes, please dig again. And you just tentacle again. These are not fun enemies, I don't like them. We have 25 turns until the next one arrives. Okay. Done. No healing for you guys. Dodged. Nice. Next up, I think you. Because you have a lot of attack power. Stop! Stop your tentacles! I thought we talked about this. No, falling is good. Actually, go ahead. Grow your own strength, grow your willpower. Oh wow, you also died. Well, what can you do? And it counted as me killing somebody. Luckily, this doesn't count as him dying. Because apparently, he's the only one who can save us. Come on, stop this madness. What is happening even? I just need to take their life off. Stop hitting Ivor! He's done nothing to deserve this kind of treatment. Ah, uh, poisoned. I think this is your last turn, so... Try and take some armor off. Kill you so you can't stop anyone anymore. Let me take off the armor. Oh god, there's a second turn. I really need to keep that in mind. This will gain me some more life. The music is so intense.
What are you doing? Next one's dead. And all the blood replacement characters I can get are not much better because they're all wounded. Okay, you start attacking away this one. I think we got this. Yeah, he's touching them. Okay, now I want Ivor to kill stuff so that he gets some willpower and some life. I mean, come on, you can kill one. Pillage! You rest. And you get some life and willpower. Okay! Now... Oh, we can take them. Oh, I just didn't track them correctly last time. Oh, oh no, I don't think we can flee because we're here to save Juno. I was like, maybe we shouldn't fight the second time, but... We are kind of here to save Juno, so... Yeah. Nothing stopping now. I see that there's enemies everywhere. You don't need a camera on them. They're everywhere. Uh, this music... I need to turn on the music a bit because I... There's a bit much for me. So, I think I will just... Uh, 18, 14... Just go 9... Yeah, I'll just... Try my tracking ability to ignore some armor. Next turn. I dodged! This is my close range character, right? No, no, no. Oh, dodged. Crit you, nice. Go in. because we're constantly not filling this up even though we should yes 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 lots of you lots of you he has so much willpower stop digging and please for the love of god don't stop either okay who can i reach Now we need to get to her, her. Can't really reach anything. Don't sling at me. Okay, I appreciate that, even though I don't. Okay, you are letting me again. I told you I don't like that. I don't like being reminded of losing such a wonderful ability. Uh, wow, you hit hard. There's a third wave. No, not either.
Well, it's something, I guess. I think Ever's gonna die. Yes, yes. I need to be moving here. Okay. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. What am I going to do without Ivor? He's the only character who could really heal himself by killing stuff. I might not make this. Oh god. Okay. Don't don't attack me. Okay, I want to keep them alive. Alive on low health. Who do I even have left? I have two characters left. One of them is like almost dead. I doubt this will do much for them. Oh no, why did you die? Stop digging away. This is so... Uh, I'm not gonna make it. And I don't know what happens to the story then. You're not gonna make it. No, no healing. That's her. Oh, she dodged again. That's impressive. Digging away. I should have this. But not the part where there is more enemies. Because now I I need to flee. There's nothing I can do here. There is nothing I can do. Counts as a victory. Yes, everybody's been injured in battle. Tell me something new. 
They find Juno's body lying out on the ice. She's Manga's barely recognizable. Grotesque. No coming back from that. The serpent and the fall didn't kill her, disliked it. Not to mention she's been laying out in the darkness, who knows how long. This is the end, isn't it? We failed. What do we do? We finish what we came to do. This is not the end. Irene's face and voice are expressionless, but tears strike his cheek. We take her to the White Tower. Ivy, please pick her up. Doesn't sound like a request. You just keep going. We have to keep going. Oh god, she was out in the dark, so she's not even human-like anymore. Ravens where they see figures lurking from the corners of the ice and hear the whispers of dead family members. Some accuse the corpse of Juno, others the om ominous pillar that have been rising on the horizon. The threat cuts down, Ivan tells them. Rises like teeth from the hunger wolf's maw, spursings. Swell up, brave man, the bright doomed star. An old song from before the gods died. Fitting, ambling through the tall pillars like teeth, an obsidian forest breathing the great black gods down. If my dead mother appears, I'm ending things right here and now. Ask Ivan if he can do anything to help. Ivan shakes his head slowly and notices his ragged appearance. But I can't be certain no harm will come from it. it. Says it loud enough for others to hear. Okay, morale approved. Wait, we only have one day? No, 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 no don't, don't go to zero, don't go to zero. We are at zero? Is this the last one? Did I fail? Did we make it just in time? What are you doing to me? Don't do this. Don't do this. Yes. We're walking. We push on. Despite hope being lost, along with Juno, to something black and heavy ahead. Did the dredge spill godstones of their own? They did, and hope is not lost yet, Ivor. You jerk terror at terror, Juno's voice in your head, and her head lightly squeezing your shoulder. She breathes softly. Well done, you can put me down. <laughs> Nerves get the best of even the bravest. Not another step, shots Ollie. He pushes his own way to Juno. You died. Not another step till you spill it. All of it. A chorus of voices and concord, echoing over pillows themselves. Juno sacks upon her stuff. She looks at Ivan, but his stares leaks from her. All will be well, she starts, but jerks from back from Ollie's axe blade at her neck. No more magic tricks, Ollie hisses. Please tell me what's going on. You're right, says Juno. It's time you all knew. This will be more easily shown than told. The Valka were the first to discover a world within our world. The inner earth, with its own lands, people, and sun. A source of power far greater than our own. Ivan is the boss, the leader of the Valka, brilliant, born with a mind devouring itself. I studied in secret to heal those wounds, and in time, we grew to love each other. But meddling with minds is forbidden, for reasons already clear to you. The Council sentenced me to death. They agreed to spare Ivan the same fate if I went willingly. So I did. When Ivan discovered what had happened, he carried my body to the White Tower. In his grief, he drained the black sun of its energy, hoping to restore my life. The sun fell from the sky, ripping chasms through both worlds. The serpent slithered out from its shattered egg, half-born, and the darkness within spread. I had become the new vessel for its power. When we reach the White Tower, and Ivan releases my energy, the sun will move again, and the darkness will return to where it belongs. So she has to die. 
as Juno releases a grip over the caravan, the images fade. Evan carried me all the way back to Richon before he could go no further. That's where Hagen's where I found us. They understandably relieved I was dead and left me there. Ivan lived still, if only barely. By the time he awoke, the Vala had taken most of the way to Einatov. When I realized what had happened, I traveled by ship down the river to meet Ivan at Zirkwald, but the serpent's chasm prevented this. I believe you know the rest. I'm certain you have many questions, so I will answer them clearly. What does the serpent have to do with any of this? I'll admit, even I was uncertain until recently. But the easiest way to understand it is to imagine an egg. The serpent's egg was made inside this inner earth, a black sun mirroring our own. Within it, the serpent would grow on slowly over the ages. It was put there here to eventually swallow the loom mother creations, a cruel trick to destroy them in secret. When the black sun fell to the earth, it cracked. The serpent in power spilled out well before its time. Everything happening now is because of petty crutches between the gods. In a way, Ivan unwittingly did us all a favor. The serpent had grown to full size. Well, at least as things are now, there may be a chance to reverse it. I'm not exactly bursting with gratitude at the moment. Understandable. If the threats were taught by the Valka, why are they attacking us? The Stone Singers believe we have betrayed them. Early on, we discovered that the Black Sun was far greater source of power than our own. After the worst of the Great Wars, everyone believed the Valka utterly defeated by the Tretch. In truth, we offered them peace. In exchange for us, for use of the sun's power, we showed them how to flourish within their own lands and create more of their own kind. So you created the Stone Singers? In a way, we only shared knowledge. It has always been a difficult question of how much control to exert. But now they believe we caused this destruction on purpose. They think that we wish to wipe them out, and like anyone else, they fight back. They are scared and frenzied, and will not listen. We have felt them as much as we have felt everyone else. This goes back all the way to the time of the gods. This can, bl this can become long and complicated, I'll keep it simple. The loom mother first discovered weaving, and with it created this world and those living on it. The other being in the tapestry, other gods reacted in many different ways. Some wanted to learn weaving, and they took the creations she made and changed them, forming Val and Hosborn. One god became jealous. He took mankind, reshaped them into treach, and hid them within the world to grow and torment the other creation. When the Loom Mother learned of this, she became furious. She had discovered creation, she had also unwittingly created death, and accidentally killed the jealous god in anger. The other gods were terrified. They had never imagined not existing. They turned on each other out of fear. Their gods died, but their creations continued on. The Viker were the Loom Mother's favorite few. She taught them weaving. Ivan and I are descendants of those first people. What now? Now I return to the source of the power. I am not dead, but neither am I alive. This energy within me was stolen. Even will place me within the black sun. The celestial sphere will circle again. The darkness will absorb, and without that, the serpents will wither. She looks very tired, but tries to smile. You'll be trapped within the sun? I've come to terms with it. And now you know everything. Make sure Ivan does what is right. I will surely try. I don't know how easy it is, seeing as he loves you and he did forbidden things to save you the first time around and caused all of this. But I can surely try to make him see reason. Wow. So there is a world within the world, but it's kind of like its own dimension. Oh, we are the Godstone. An enormous bell hangs from the carved stonework, even untouched it hums with a strange deep resonance. Often says the sculptors built this Godstone to themselves. The raised bells made of those who have passed. It's said that a part of them listen to the sound of these bells, and they can visit the ancestors this day. Sprague versus arms. That will explain the spooks. Stancing approaches the Godstone, hands up, shaking his head in warning. He seems to diligently avoid touching anything. At the Godstone center, an enormous bell towards the other. Smaller chism chisms hanging throughout. The bell's hand that calls to you on a primal level. Are you thinking of bringing it or kissing it? Spore asks. I wouldn't do either. Leave the bell alone because the studs what the stone thing out taught to do. Cannot you think of a worse idea, you reply, stepping away. Curiosity weighs on you for a short while until the caravan separates from the godstone. Okay. 
Okay, we do not have time to rest. I can go through my units, I can see, I can probably try and level. We're already at zero days, and I really don't want to strain it any further. Um, I really, really don't want to strain it any further. Because I don't know what's going to happen to Alette. You have five points. You can regain willpower. And get some crit chance. Oh, and the title. Earthmaker, you don't need the power. Armor and strength, the main. I can't. But four levels of the mountain. So you should definitely be in the party. Okay. Let's end this here because I got a feeling that next step is the finale. I don't know actually how long the next video is going to be. It might be rather short. But um, since we got another stopping point here, I feel that we can leave this here. And then probably head to the end of the game in the next video. We should reach the White Tower. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to say it because it's kind of like sacrifice Juno. Even though she's not fully alive. But she's kind of alive right now. But we gotta leave her there. And then the world should be fine. And then we need to see whether the days ahead for Alette um, were actually enough. Because it's already zero, I don't know how far it is. I'm not even gonna rest anymore. And I think once I am done with the whole game, I will also load back to the fight between Alette and the people and see whether it's possible to save Alette um, and see whether, you know, that changes things in any good way. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and boy, this is exciting. I'm almost done with the Benno saga.